Cubes. Today we are going to see the trailer is in front of us. This is a coil and a steel carrier in the terminal in China, Wenzhou Terminal. We built a front wall in the front. It is a block head to prevent the steel to rush to the cab. We use this type of the air connector and uh, use Philip, uh, Philips electricity line. You can see the electricity is easy plug in. And we have a left and a right indicator lights to show the width of the trailer. At the bottom, we use uh, two inches kin pen and we have the leaking hose for the leaking if the rain stuck inside the kingpin plate are going to be rust very fast we do leave a maintenance gap here so the maintenance employee can easily do the maintenance we use a Yoast uh, landing gear and uh, very strong reinforced uh, roof hook for the kingpin plate we do the welding and uh, here we have a reinforcement plate and also a reinforcement plate uh, all along to the bottom of the gooseneck. This is how it looks uh, from uh, the other side. And we have a side protection, side guard in the left and right position to make sure the middle is protected by those uh, blocks so the deck can carry the containers or they can carry the long steel bar or the coil steel those uh, blocks gonna protect uh, the cargo to fall off in the side beam we have the reflector and also the side guard we have the reflector at the bottom here is the side light and here is the roof hook you can see here we can see a very neat uh, supporting bracket and also the welding quality here is the mud guard in the front and uh, we can see the tire here it is West Lake brand we do paint the axles to prevent uh, the moisture in the terminal area not only the axle but also all the leaf springs and all the gears at the bottom we put the paint on top of them to prevent uh, the moisture to damage the structure this is the pattern of the tire and we can see we also put uh, some uh, protections in the suspension hangers now we can see our sign in Chinese to, to mention our brand. What's that noise? Okay, and uh, the electricity line, anywhere it has opportunity to damage the highness, we put a protection like this. This is a supporting rod in the rear to give the strong supporting to the rear guard and we leave the rear side open so when our client wants to check the containers they can open the door in the front without any blocking we also have the left and the right indicator light and also the rear light this is uh, the license uh, plate and the license light a triangle reflector and triangle reflector and the braking light. We also put the two reflector at the bottom and also one line of reflector at the rear booster. Now let's go to the bottom of the trailer. At the bottom of the trailer, you can see it's uh, quite beautiful. We paint uh, everywhere it's the same color like the trailer body. Oh, we can see the supporting, supporting uh, tubes here and here and also a cross member we do not weld there because we gave the opportunity for the cross member to 
change its shape, but we do weld at the back side like this. So it uh, would be strong enough to hold it. This is a suspension hanger. This is a leaf spring. And uh, this small part here is very tricky. This small part, most uh, trailer factory may have got it. They may not put it, but uh, if, they do not, if they don't put it, so the leaf spring, when it's shaking, this bolt is going to wear very fast. We put a small, he small tube here, it will protect uh, the leaf spring and make the suspension hanger and the boat life longer. Otherwise, you may face uh, the leaf spring drop off to the suspension hanger in case a huge problem. Anyway, this is uh, the spring. We call it a leaf spring because it's uh, like leaves. One, two, three, four. We have four pieces here. We call it a four pieces uh, long uh, leaf spring, but uh, it has a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine pieces totally, but not uh, all are four lengths. So inside we can see this is a red nylon tube. This is a rubber hose because this is uh, shaking all the time. If the axle goes to the top and this would be like this, so we cannot use the nylon tube. We need to use the rubber hose to make sure it uh, has enough uh, material uh, character to suffer the shaking. There is a emergency really vibe to do the braking. It's imported from US and the black one is the air reserve tank. Now this is a drain vibe. We haven't finished the installing yet. We will put a cable here and then put it outside so your driver does not uh, need to come to the bottom every day or every week. Nobody wants to come to the bottom of the trailer. It's dirty and not safe. Okay, um, what else? Okay, here is a, a huge supporting uh, me member here. And uh, this is the bottom of the deck. And uh, that one is equalizer. And that one is also equalizer. That is equalizer pen. So the leaf spring goes to the equalizer. So the equalizer can uh, lift the right and down to give the balance to the leaf spring. And this is axle. Axle, we painted, but you can still see the brand and the, the the model number here and we install those uh, we call it a leaf spring seat to the axle then we put the leaf spring on we use the two u-boat to type them together over there you can see we have a we have two members to combine with the tubes in the middle of the two suspension hanger to make it as a square so the square stru structure is uh, strong enough to hold it. In the right, we have the electricity line. The electricity line goes to the bottom, goes to the rear, to those uh, braking line and uh, reversing line, and those are the harness. In this, in the left side, we have the braking line the red and the yellow nylon tube to give the pressure to the air reserve tank. The red, red nylon tube means it is always have air inside. Once you break it, uh, the trailer is going to stop uh, by itself. This is a double air chamber because uh, it has two functions. Here, in this uh, air chamber is a uh, braking service. So when you are parking, it's called parking braking. When you are parking, it will brake. It has the service braking uh, function. When you are driving, so this one works. When this one pulls the rod here, it will give the power to the slack adjuster. This one is a slack adjuster. So the slack adjuster will give the, will give the power to the inside of the drum. At the same time, the drum gonna be brake 
to the sorry the braking pad gonna break to the drum then your trailer stops we have the greasing greasing knob there and here and here please ask your mechanic or your maintenance employee to do the do the maintenance uh, <sighs> frequently it will give a longer service life to your trailer okay let's get out now we are out of the bottom of the trailer here is uh, the side view you can see the three axles and a boat and tire the suspension hanger and uh, the two box we have the key and lock here you can also put the normal lock here so once this broken you can easily use this one to do the backup here is also the side protection and uh, roof hawk side beam reflector this is the crack of the landing gear it's in the in the right side of the trailer same like uh, the toolbox because in china we drive in the left so this one is the rear side wherever your driver is operating uh, the rear side is the first they want to choose okay now we are in the bottom of the trailer again here this one is the protection to protect uh, the steel edge here to damage the braking hose braking nylon tube this is the information of the braking nylon tube it uh, is according to the dot it's blocked and uh, it's uh, technician data and this side is uh, the electric line they all come from the front and uh, this is the campaign we have seen it all right let's go further now we are going to the bottom of the trailer from the front we can see the members the big members here to give the strong structure information and we can see the huge member there is making the square of the suspension uh, structure we have three of them and this this is uh, the TOCOM. We call it TOCOM and TOC rod, whatever you call it. In Hong Kong, they call it chicken legs because it looks like chicken legs. <laughs> Weird name. This one is fixed, and in the right side, it uh, is adjustable. So, same for three of them. All in the right side because the right side is the driver uh, can operate it in the road. So, it's the road side. So whenever your axle is not uh, parallel, you can change it, change it here, then your axle can change it back. Otherwise, your tire is going to consume very fast. Now, we can see from the front, we do use the black rubber hose to do the uh, job because the axle is upside down and the air hose is uh, better than the nylon tube because if you do this, it is going to broke. Okay, I think we finished uh, all here. Uh, let's go to the outside. Okay, now we are on top of the trailer. You can see more clear from the top. The reason we can make the floor is very flat. It is because we use the droid uh, welding, the robot welding. So it's uh, welding itself automatically better than the human hand this is the front we do put a plate at the bottom to prevent something is uh, leaking to the outside but in the top we leave it open so we do use uh, square tubes like this but we always drew two holes like here I don't know if you can see it but we can see when I go to the bottom okay we leave it here I show you the other side. This is uh, the side protection, side blocks. We can see from the top. And also we leave uh, it like a stairs, one, two, three. They have uh, three steps. So the water can go to the bottom. No water is going to remain on the surface. We use uh, small pieces plate to make sure 
we have a one piece of a flat deck. We have a one, two, three, four, five, five blocks in each side. All right, I think uh, that's all from the top. Nothing else to say. Let me get off. Off we can see there are one hole and uh, two hole in each member, so the water cannot uh, remain inside. People may say if it is a sealed uh, space, no water can go inside. But don't forget the moisture. Moisture can go to the inside of the tube uh, from those small gaps we cannot see. So in the evening, when the temperature goes down, the water goes in. Moisture goes in with air. But when the daytime, the temperature goes high like this, pretty hot. So the air comes out, the water remains. All right. I think that's uh, all for today. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.